Hey guys, I'm in here today working on the wing again and I uh, wanted to show you where I'm at before I get any farther. Uh, in the other videos I showed you how I make the main spar and the rear spar. So today what I'm working on is connecting the two with the X-bracing. And uh, this is what it looks like. It's really not that complicated. I just got to make sure that the main spar is uh, square and level with the rear spar and that my taper in the cord is what I need it to be. You can see it tapers off there at the end. And uh, then I just mark my locations where the X bracing matches up and I cut them to fit and weld them in. So it's really not that difficult. Uh, I've got half of it done and then I'm working on the other half right now. So I wanted to show you what it looked like kind of before and after. So one of the big things with welding aluminum is getting it clean. And uh, one of the ways I do that is I've come up with a way for all of the smaller diameter uh, tubing, anything up to half inch, I can do this way and everything else I just have to put in a lathe. But what I do is since I'm by myself is I just put it in a power drill. I just chuck it in there and then that acts as my lathe and I can do an entire 12 foot stick this way. And what I have are these foam uh, sanding pads. They're just uh, 150 grit, so they're, they're nothing real aggressive. And uh, you can see it's just got the mill finish and a little oxidation. And that's a piece that I did earlier. And I just power the drill on and then run that sanding pad up and down it. And that keeps me from having to polish each and every piece. I'll just have the whole 12 foot stick done and then as I cut it, I can use it. And then uh, what I do is I just wipe it all down with acetone and it's clean. And then I don't have to worry about going back and wire brush and everything after I cut it. Uh, it's all already clean and all right guys I've got all the X bracing done now so what I'll do is I'll get the this flipped over and I uh, still got to weld the other side of the X bracing and get it finished up so once I do that the next step is to get all the rib material out get it polished up get the ribs bent and get them installed so that's how I do everything up to this point so uh, Watch out for the next video and I'll show you how I get all the ribs bent and installed on the airplane. So I'll, uh, I'll try to get that on in the next couple days. But until then, thank you guys for watching.